briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, the Supreme Court of Georgia heard the case of Williams v. Studstill, which revolved around the concept of creating a right of survivorship in property inheritance. Georgia abolished joint tenancy prior to 1976, but the case argued that people could still establish a right of survivorship as long as it was expressly created. The lawsuit emerged after Alice Studstill bequeathed 750 acres of land to her children, James and Mary Ella, as joint tenants with the right of survivorship. When Mary Ella sold her share to her nephew, while reserving her right to use the land for life, James passed away, and his widow Louise sued Mary Ella and her nephew. Louise argued that the deed had destroyed the joint tenancy, turning it into a tenancy in common, and that she was entitled to inherit James's interest. Nonetheless, Mary Ella and James maintained that the right of survivorship still applied, and the severance did not affect it. The trial court sided with Louise, concluding that the joint tenancy had been severed. However, upon appeal, the court ruled that the joint tenancy was not severed, and the right of survivorship applied. This decision prevented James's widow from receiving half of the property and reversed the trial court's initial verdict in favor of Mary Ella and her nephew. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.